Hi, I'm Logical Trash with an I, as in I Still Moon Kitties, I Spoil series format to tell my own shitty story, Kestrels and Crows. This is part one of, I don't know, probably six. We'll see. On a farm not far from the lake, there are two kitty pets named Sophia and Buckwheat. They have three kids, Minty, Violet, and Wyatt Olet. The first two are irrelevant. Wyatt and his daddy are good friends. Buckwheat warns Wyatt of stranger danger. Wyatt now lives by these words. The family lives happily until a patrol of random river cane cats come by the two legs farm. We're tired, Rabbit Star, the patrol leader says. Okay, go away, Buckwheat replies. Without invitation, the river clan cats stay in the barn. Buckwheat is angry. Wyatt is angry. Sophia leads the cats to the barn and spots a mouse. She kills it because that's why her two legs brought two cats to kill mice in the barn. Hey, Flame Pelt. A worthless river clan cat says. Are you just going to not eat that? That's rude. The cat gods do not approve of this. Yeah, I have way better food and safer food that isn't infested with fleas. The river clan kitties get extra mad and lecture the kitty pet family on the warrior code. The kitty pets are confused. Sophia and her kids stay the night with the river clan cats in the barn. Rabbit Star and Mossy Pebble want Sophia and her kids to join the cat cult, so they make up some lies about the clan. We have free candy, Mossy Pebble says. Sophia likes candy and also knows her kids are going to be killed or sold off without her consent. So, she follows the River Clan strangers without a question. Buckwheat is sad. Why is scared? There's no way this could go wrong. <laughs>is sad and wants to go home. He tries to leave but gets yanked back by Mossy Pebble. This breaks his collar and also gives him a scar on his neck. Fail, rest in Star Clan. Webfoot, an irrelevant warrior says. Not with yucky kitty pet names. Rabbit Star changes these cats' names. Sophia is now Songheart and uh, the kids are now Mint Kit and Violet Kit. They perform a ritual to send them to Star Clan. Oh, and you have a yucky kitty pet name too. So you're now Crow Kit. So, do you match up with my nephews? What's a star clan? They arrive at the lake and pretend nothing happened. Crokit is mad. Honeybee takes in Crokit, even though he has six moons, and is suitable to become an apprentice. She introduces him to Kestrelkit and Quailkit. Hi! Hi! They say. Crokit doesn't like it. The next morning, Honeybee and her kits are awoken abruptly by the mean, crazy old medicine cat slosh bull. He goes on a rant about saying he had a dream about a quail. Quailkit is made of medicine cat against his own will. But Quail Kit is okay with this. Kestrel Kit starts crying. We were meant to train as warriors together, he cries. At, l- at least I have you, Crow Kit. Crow Kit walks away. The warrior code is bad, Crow Kit says, marching off. I want to go home and change my name back to White Olaf. Kestrel Kit and Crow Kit are forced to bond by their mum. Crow Kit hates Kestrel Kit with every fibre of his being. He's jealous of the life Kestrel Kit has. He has a loving home, a living family, and a non-edgy backstory. Just as he gets used to being called Crow Kit, he gets his name changed to Crowfall. Crow Kit is about to go sicko mode, 